Welcome to the last edition of my musical collection rundown. I have gone through each of the cubbies behind me of all the records that I've had, and we come to the miscellaneous collection. For those of you who have been following along so far, you know that I've kept the Hamilton soundtrack kind of wedged in this cubby here. Uh, it is gone, and all the albums that were behind here are also in front of me so that I can talk about them. What I have here are a lot of the box sets. Uh, now mainly right here, it's all the movie box sets. So we've got like Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, um, but I also have the Genesis Live box set which holds all their live albums. I also have the Genesis uh, box set behind me here which have all the CDs from um, Trespass all the way to uh, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway with a kind of collection of their other stuff as well. So. Uh, let's get into the actual vinyl collections that I have in terms of box sets. And the first one, oh boy, the first one ugh, is a big one. It's the Beatles box set. Oh boy. It has all the Beatles LPs on it from uh, Please Please Me all the way to Let It Be. It also has the remasters uh, or the past masters, which has a lot of their singles that weren't released on LPs, such as like Hey Jude and uh, those guys as well. It has like a full page, 252 page booklet, kind of like a coffee table book. And yeah, it's all the Beatles stuff. So it's probably the most expensive item within my collection. So I'll put this guy down here. Oh, it's really, really heavy as well. As well, as you already know, I have the entire Hamilton soundtrack on LP. It is my, it's, it's close to being my favorite Broadway show. I mean, Phantom is still, still pretty neck and neck. Um, I guess because Phantom just has the time behind it, we'll see if Hamilton surpasses it as time goes on. Now, even though this isn't an LP or a, uh, a record, I do have the theater equation complete uh, deluxe packaging with the Blu-ray, with the DVD, with the CDs on it. Uh, it's my favorite Arion album and the conceptualization from the album to the stage worked perfectly. So I had to get the actual uh, collection for that. So into the actual albums, these are kind of the place of misfits here and I'm gonna start off um, it's a little bit of a hodgepodge so I think I'm gonna start off with the Disney collection that I have I have a lot of Disney picture discs I love Disney and I love the soundtracks to Disney so I've got the picture discs to Frozen I have the picture disc to The Nightmare Before Christmas it's actually two LPs which is really really nice and I love the songs like I grew up with that I actually I grew up with all these except for Frozen uh, we have the Lion King picture disc we have Aladdin's picture disc we have probably my favorite out of the whole bunch Beauty and the Beast's picture disc and finally we have the Little Mermaid's picture disc now I had mentioned in my last video that I inherited a lot of the Alan Parsons projects from a friend. So here are the Alan Parsons projects. Uh, we have the, uh, the uh, what is that? Ammonia Avenue. We have the uh, Turn of a Friendly Card. We have Pyramid. We have my second favorite album from them, I, Robot. The last two tracks on this is just brilliant. We have Eye in the Sky, and we have Eve. So as I said, this cubby is a little bit of a hodgepodge, so these don't really make a whole lot of sense as to what's coming next. So we have one of my, oh, actually, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I'm gonna move over here. Um, <laughs> We've got My Chemical Romance. Uh, I got into these guys actually late in the game after they put out uh, Killjoys. Um, but we have Three Cheers. Then we have probably my favorite album from them, Welcome to the Black Parade. And then finally we have The Danger Days or The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Uh, from there we go on to Green Day with American Idiot, one of my favorite concept albums. And it's odd that it's coming from a pop punk band. Then we come to uh, the 21st Century Breakdown. This is actually, uh, this is a really interesting packaging. Like the first half is a book, comes with the CDs, but it also comes with like, it's an LP, but they're small and there's three of them. So they're probably a little bit bigger than a, um, like they're smaller than an LP, but bigger than an EP. Uh, and they play at 33 and a third. 
So they cover Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3, and actually, in a packaging standpoint, it's quite a brilliant piece. And musically, it's also really, really good. Uh, then we come to my only Foo Fighters album. Uh, this was actually a really interesting uh, concept where each song was located and recorded at a different famous studio. Uh, then we have Mannheim Steamroller of uh, Christmas Extraordinaire. Uh, I love Mannheim Steamroller and I love the Christmas music. It's just so... I don't know, it feels like home. Uh, then we have the 3040, uh, the first record that I got from them. It celebrates 30 years of the Christmas music and 40 years of uh, Fresh Air. And speaking of Fresh Air, I have Fresh Air 2. I've been looking for all the other Fresh Airs, but Fresh Air 2 is the only one that uh, I've been able to find. And then finally, no better way to wrap up this entire thing as a nice bow, we have my Taylor Swift collection. As you guys probably know, I love Taylor Swift. I'm just a really big fan of hers, so I have her complete collection, starting off with her self-titled album, and then we have Speak Now, followed by Fearless, the first album that I actually heard from her, which was Red, and finally 1989. So that's about it. That's my entire record collection from start to finish. So what did you guys think? Let me know of your favorite item from this bunch as well as your favorite item from my entire collection by commenting down below. Also, just a little bit of a heads up, I'm planning to put out a live stream at the end of this month on uh, July 31st. It's a Tuesday. I'll probably be doing it at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'll be listening to my favorite album with you guys. So please join me for that. I'm going to be reminding everybody at the end of most of my videos from this point until then. Look out for that. Really excited for that July 31st. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching because this really was being done because of my 1000 subscriber and in that time I've accumulated another couple of hundreds. So thank you guys so much. Like you guys are definitely the best. And until next time, notes out. <music>